I'm not good. <laughs> no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright. Welcome to Homecoming Heat. Glad to have you here. What's up guys? My name is Jacob Gardner. I'm glad to be here myself. Uh, I'm representing Team Blue for Homecoming Court. And yeah, let's get right into this challenge. Alright, so we're kicking off with the classic barbecue. Perf. I'm not gonna do too much. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, oh, I hate eating on camera. Okay, so the question is let's start off with a slam dunk. Mm -hmm. You've had your fair share of buzzer beaters and game winning shots. How do you plan on bringing that to the same level of excitement in school spirit at Olympian High School if you're crowded, blah, 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 if you're crowned king? Well, I'm gonna keep the same energy I always keep, be myself. You gotta be confident under pressure. Just like I gotta be on the basketball court. Can't overstress everything. So I'm just gonna do what I do best. And just be cool with everybody. And yeah, just keep keep uh just be nice to people. Cause if people be nice to people, people will be nice to me. And honestly that's just a good lifestyle to live. I'm already living it, so I might as well keep living the same lifestyle. Oh, perfect. Alright, you can finish up your chicken. Mm-hmm. That one's not too spicy at all. Huh? Oh no. Mm-mm. The spice doesn't start to right here for real. Okay, I love horny barbecue, and that one's next. So mm -hmm. Let's get that one started. No, but I'm gonna pour a little less because that was a lot. Boom. There we go. Yeah. Guests often talk about their memorable food experiences. What's your favorite post game meal and why? Favorite hey, post game meal? Uh, it'd be right after the basketball game, shoot over to Jack in the Box, get my uh, Club Deluxe, as uh, Shay Harrison says himself, it's stupendous. <laughs> it was so good for no reason. Get that with a medium root beer and a curly fry. Some uh, their buttermilk ranch. Mmm. Call it a day. But yeah. So. That's a good bite. Mm hmm. <laughs> Do you prefer flats or. Oh, flats. Flats? Definitely. Oh, me too. I, like I hate drums, but they do their work, so. They do their work, okay. That just looks disgusting. Garlic parm. That looks interesting. It looks like cheese almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Ooh, that looks delish. Stop it. <laughs> okay, perfect. Oh, I have to pick my bite. Yeah, finish it. Mm. Question number three. On hot ones, we explore hot sauces. In your campaign, you need to spice things up. What's your secret sauce to winning over the hearts of your fellow students? I will tell y'all the secret sauce, but it's a secret, so I can't tell you. Because if I tell you the secret mm. sauce, there's no secret behind it. Oh, this is gonna taste good. Her. I'm not gonna finish that. That's disgusting. Really? You don't like it at all? I like it mixed with medium, but. Mmm. You've tried it before. Mm hmm. Mmm. But not on its own when it's in a tub. Look, look at this. Look at this consistency. It looks like cheddar and like broccoli. Stop telling me that. <laughs> All right. All right. The next one's lemon. Oh, lemon pepper's good. Everyone loves lemon pepper. It's just in the cup. It's throwing my brain heavily. Huh. <sighs> okay. So we got lemon pepper right here. Is it going? It's still going, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's still going. So we got lemon pepper. We love lemon pepper, come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Alright. The question number four is, let's go with an easier one. Handling sports and extracurriculars alongside with school, it's a lot. It's important to find time to still have fun. What's your most memorable or favorite experience in high school so far? Mmm. <laughs> no. Most memorable, most memorable would be my freshman year because it was COVID season, so I, all sports were going on, and we were practicing on the outdoor courts because that was novice. We were with Coach Sean and all my boys practicing on the outdoor courts, and right after we all scurried to the football game, older sister was on varsity, so I walked in with my dad. Smelled like straight dog, but no one knew me, so it didn't matter. And then my favorite high school experience definitely last year basketball. I love Coach Ellis. He can, 
he does his he does his job as a coach, and he, he's like a second father father figure to me. So yeah, but basketball every basketball season would be my favorite memorable experience in high school. Awesome. All right, what's the next sauce? Sweet chili. To be sweet honest, chili? I don't know. Like it's, it said sweet, so I assumed it wasn't spicy. But hey, I'm gonna do it t not even that much. That's good. Looks like sweet and sour sauce. Like yeah, I think that's what it is. The consistency is throwing my brain. Oh, right, I can go. Mm -hmm. All right. The question is: Ox Club is all about creating a sense of belonging. Mm -hmm. Just like the Ox Club slogan, "You don't have to believe to belong." How will you ensure that all students feel welcome at school events, regardless of their backgrounds or beliefs? In other words, if you win, how do you plan to use your position as homecoming king for the better? I'm a, I think it's like the same as that first one. I would just emphasize, with me winning homecoming king, that I would put my name on a higher platform, allowing me to emphasize my character to another level, because you know, I know, a lot, I know a lot of people are fair amount. People, when I see people, like I just greet them, It'd be cool, be nice. But then if I get homecoming king, it will project my, yeah, project my, uh, project my image in a great way. <coughs> I was hidden now, in a great way for um, all students on campus, teachers, staff, anybody to see. And I, um, and yeah, that's all. Perfect. Okay, that's a really good answer. All right. So the next one's this is doing a lot. Now, now we got started up. We got my old buffalo. You want some like just a creamy buffalo because it doesn't really have too much on it. Oh, okay. Perfect. Like but you know, let's go. There we go. Mm hmm. Do one of these. All right. Question number six mm -hmm. would be on the court, you've had to adapt to different playing styles. How will you adapt your approach to collaborate with your homecoming queen, counterpart, and create an unforge unforgettable campaign for your peers? Mm, yeah, you can go ahead. Okay, how I think me and my partner Brianna Morales will make an unforgettable homecoming experience. Wait, yeah, homecoming experience, right? For like people, like for the students. What was it? It was like, like, a, like a, create an unforgettable campaign for your peers. Campaign. Oh, so yeah, we definitely have a couple tricks up our sleeve, which I won't release because not sure when this video is gonna get dropped. But you'll see our, uh, you'll see our, you'll see the tricks up our sleeve. Oh, you'll see the tricks up our sleeve when we promote them later in the. Uh, once we get back to school, because we're not allowed to promote right now, so I'm gonna leave that alone. But definitely, I think both of our, uh, I'm charismatic and she's enthusiastic, put that together, and it's like a great duo, great mix. And our comfortability level between each other is right there where it needs to be, so it's not awkward and we're just like, oh yeah, that's my partner. Like, nah, I'm like, oh no, that's my, that's my twin right there, that's Bree. And I think that in itself will get people to be like, oh, like, oh, they have a great friendship, like, man, I should vote for them, like, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's what we're gonna do, keep it, keep it going for people. That's good. You guys have a good relationship. Definitely. Known her since sixth grade. She remembers Super Six something. I'm gonna leave it at that. But yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Next one up. Number seven. We're getting spicy. And yeah, now we got medium. Ready for atomic. Yeah, you guys are. I'm gonna die inside. We got a little bit of medium buffalo there. Dive into this real quick. All right. So number seven is on the show. We often explore the unique flavors of hot sauces. How do the individual aspects of your personality add flavor to your homecoming campaign? Mmm. You like that sauce? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely. Um, individual aspects. I definitely say I'm outgoing, which helps with the fact that I'm like my ability to talk to people without having like not the stress, but like the quote unquote anxious part behind it. Like I can talk to anybody if need be, when to be. And also, like, being able to, um, also being, like, encouraging, but also, like, just fun to be around. I feel like, because if you have a, like, what, I bring, like, a great vibe, in my opinion. I've always been told growing up, like, you bring this, like, light to the room, you bring an energy to the room. So I've always took that to heart, like, oh, yeah, if I bring an energy to the room, people like you. And for the fact that, like, you don't want to bring bad energy, you always want to bring good energy. Keep people up, keep people going, like, whenever they're feeling down, keep them to push through. So, yeah, I, that's, those key factors of my personality is what's going to keep people or get people to at least think about them for me, but yeah. Mm, that's a good answer. Here we go. Here we go, what's the next sauce? Hot. Hot? It's hot. <laughs> it's so dark, dude. It's so liquidy. It is, it is, it <laughs> is. All right, come on. All right, let's see. Mm. 
We got number eight. eight. Let's turn up the heat a bit. What's the most challenging part of homecoming campaign? And how will you overcome it to reach your goals? Hardest part of right now would be um, being a part of, not being part of, doing all the homecoming court stuff, as in like the dances I said. You know, we gotta perform for you guys, can't. Gotta look, ooh, my head's itchy. Mm -mm. But we gotta look good for y'all, gotta do our stuff. And um, it's not hard, but definitely like, because I'm not a dancer, but my partner in crime, Riley, is. Riley's really good. So just having him teach us what to do and how to do it is gonna take process, but we have enough time. So at the end of the day, you guys are gonna see a great final product. We're not gonna worry about it. But as of right now, definitely the hardest part. <laughs> All right, we have two sauces left. Is it hot? Next up, we got extra hot. Is it not thinking. spicy at all right now? Or oh, no, I'm about to die inside. Yeah. Oh, you're dying. No, no, I'm, okay. I'm going to die. Yeah, it's all good, though. So we got extra hot. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my God. Ooh. That's so hard. I'm not about to do this. Can you cut? No. Nah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, question number nine. The Ops Club emphasizes unity. Mm -hmm. Can you share an example of a time when you brought people together within the club? You got to say that again. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> okay, okay. The Ox Club emphasizes unity. Mm -hmm. Can you share an example of a time when you brought people together within the club? And how will you use that, to, that experience in your campaign? I'm gonna put some more for real. But, um, definitely be, so in Ox Club I've spoken before, gave a little passage. Do I remember what it was? Not really, it was over a year ago. But, using that public speaking voice that I got from my own father, because he's a lawyer, public speaking voice that I got, being able to like just project and being able to be like influential with the words that word choice of mine, I think will be the key factor that will get people to at least listen to what I have to say. We're gonna put some more for the culture, just to like entertain, cause. Is it spicy? Oh, it is, and I don't want to do the next one, but hey. Oh my God, that was a good idea. Like... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last. One. You want to take a drink of your water? Nah, we're gonna, we gonna make it through, we're gonna make it through. Okay, perfect. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cooking. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. Oh, and last but not least, as you guys see, uh, we have Atomic Hot right there. Um, oh, I'm sweating bad right now. At least they don't see me sweating bullets, because that'd be even worse. Oh. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think you should put a little bit more. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. Last week is extra sauce. Yeah, last week is extra Actually, sauce. Actually, I think I have another Yeah, we'll do two weeks for, for the culture. We'll do two. <laughs> oh. No, you got that. No, I don't. Why would you say that? Okay. Yeah, we're going to... Ooh! Drowned it. Okay. Drowned it. Okay, we're going to do the flat first. Actually, we're going to do the jumpsuit first. All right, here we go. Don't touch your eyes. Oh, yeah, you're right, don't touch you're right, your you're eyes. Right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, final question. All right, good. All right, final question. Oh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Alright, finally, Jacob. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, 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 no. <laughs> We're bringing out the hottest song from the lineup. Can you share one unique and unexpected thing about you that will truly set you apart from the ideal candidate for Hoko King? Uh, one thing that sets me apart from the crowd. Definitely, um, there's one obvious one I won't say. And then you got, uh, I think. Honestly, I think it's just me, just me being me. Like I don't have to do. There's nothing like I don't have to change up. Oh, it's so hot. Nothing I have to change up. For my my mouth is burning. <laughs> um, yeah, there's nothing I have to change up for me to like be a better per portrayment of myself. I think how I am is what God wanted me to be. And with that factor being in play, I don't have anything. I just burped and it hurt. Um, <laughs> I think me just being me is me the uh, is what sets me apart because if I'm like everybody else, then I don't stand apart from anybody. But uh, my dad always told me be a leader, not a follower. Be yourself, don't be somebody else. So uh, yeah, I think me just being me throughout my time in Olympian High School, people got to see that I'm not the average. I'm not the average Joe. Like I got something to my name. So yeah, and we're gonna finish this last. Oh snap! Finish this last one. That's what you're supposed to eat a fight. You take off one part. Go this. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh my god, that was bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is gonna take me a minute, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Man, 
boom. That was not a good idea. Out of all the 10 sauces, which one was your favorite? My favorite's always been medium or hot buffalo. That's why my go-to is. My least favorite, heat-wise, is this last one, because my lips are on fire. I didn't put chapstick on, so it's gonna be even worse. But then we also got that garlic parm. Doesn't taste bad, but the consistency wanted me to make me gag, so. <laughs> so yeah, those are my two. That's my favorite and least favorite. Signing off from Team Blue, name Jake Garner. Once the polls open on October 20th after the assembly, definitely vote me. Um, if you don't, it's okay, but I definitely think you should. Thank you guys and peace out.